to create uh, and turn my audio, my book into an audible book, this book here. And uh, I, I was struggling with getting all the different settings right. And so I did a lot of research and I thought I would help you out because one of the things I found was in Audacity, you can create a macro like I've done here. So it's audio audible book ACX normalization is what I called mine. And I, I had some very specific things that I did. I'm working on a Mac, but I think these things could help you out a lot. So I'm going to just run through them and then show you how to add these. Uh, macros are under tools and then macro managers where this is found. So tools, macro manager opens it up in Audacity. And what we're going to want to do is set a very few things to be specific uh, here. So we're going to set the project. We want to set the r project rate to 44 uh, one. one zero uh, then we want to select the track so what this does is it tells audacity to select the entire track from the start to end that you're going to try to uh, normalize and turn into an mp3 uh, we're going to loudness normalization i'll show you we have this in here it normally starts out as perceived loudness but i want to do rms because this is what uh, audible needs to have it set at i believe it's from negative 18 to negative 23 i set mine at negative 20 because i found if i pushed it to either of those two ends for some reason audacity would add just like a 0 0.03 and it would cause audible to throw it back but 0 0.20 was perfect uh, I'm, so you're going to set this loudness normalization, then we're going to go in and set a limiter. Uh, what we're doing is we're actually increasing the loudness. The limiter says, oh, but don't let anything go louder than this. And I'm going to create an input gain to four uh, on both channels, and then I'm going to do a limit to decibels of negative three. And when I apply that or add it to this, this macro, it's going to go and say anything that is too loud comes back down and it kind of compresses it all. And then I'm going to run it right back through the loudness normalization again. This seems like a lot of extra work, but I found that it, it was the quickest, easiest way to do it, especially using this macro. So I'm going to set that in here. And then finally, I'm going to set an export as MP3. Now, to add each of these things, you're just going to click insert. And uh, if we were starting, so if we were going to start from scratch, let's say we wanted to do a new project, we would come in here and say test. And you would set it, and you would, you would just click insert. And the first one, if you remember, was set. So let's go in here. Uh, we're going to look for set project, I believe is what it was called. So I'm going to look right here, set project. And you can click edit parameters. And this works for any of them. In mine, it was actually set first to resize. And I didn't want it to resize the project. I wanted it to set the rate. So I actually came in here. And mine is already defaulting to that because that's what I have it set. Mine originally was defaulting to 48, 100, I believe, but I changed it to 44, 100. Click OK, and I click OK here, and, it, and you'll see it adds it into the macro. So again, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and save the, the test one. Uh, so our next one is we want to select track start to end. So we're going to go back in here, insert. Again, you're just going to search for select, uh, past it already select track select track and we want to go uh, select start to end oh man do you see it there it is sorry it took me a second select track start to end and uh, let's say you one of these in a different order you can just click move up move down whatever you get the you get the picture it's pretty simple save it now here's where the power of all this comes in so I'll show you these settings again right here I'll extend this a little bit so you can see all the settings. Just make sure, pause the video, make sure that all of your things look exactly like this. All your settings are here. Loudness or normalization, limiter, and then export to MP3. Uh, in a second, I'll show you what the power of this is. But let me close this because the next thing that you want to do is you want to go into Audacity. You want to get into your preferences. And you actually want to click in here to directories because this is your macro output. This is where it's going to put these files. So I'm going to browse. Actually, I'm going to say I want them to go on my desktop. I'm just going to choose the desktop as my location. Click OK. Now, now I'm going to run the macro, and I'm going to show you how powerful this is. So I have this. I click the macro that I've created. I'm going to click Files because I actually want to open some files. So this is my book right here. I've got, got it open. Uh, my files are M4A. Uh, I'm going to click I'm going to select, click all of them. I'm going to, I'm just going to do a few so you can see because it takes, it does take a little bit of time. So I'm going to do the first five, let's say. I click open 
and it is going to run each of these through that macro. And it's you can watch in the background. It's going to open the file. It's going to run it. It's going to limit it. It's going to do all the loudness compression, all those things that we wanted it to do. You can see the file is actually physically changing. And then all I had to do was upload it into ACX. So let me show you where it put it, right? So here we go. We have macro output. Look at my cute family. Uh, you got macro output right here, and it changed. It saved all these as MP3s right there. So simple. I uploaded them straight. And when I did this, I did all 32 of my files, uploaded them straight into ACX for aud Audible. And uh, it was like the easiest thing I'd done. Before that, I tried to do each one individually, and it was just a pain in the butt. But this macro for Audacity will change the way you do these. And I've already got all the presets. You don't have to mess with anything else. It's so easy. If you wanted to add other things into that macro order, you could. Um, you know, if you, you wanted to change, uh, say you wanted some equalizer setting or whatever, you could add that, and it'll just apply it to every single file. It is pretty dang incredible. So, hey, uh, if you have any questions, be sure to comment, and I would love to get to those. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, all those kinds of things. But I hope that was helpful for figuring out how to use Audacity to get your Audible book into the ACX and get to selling that book.